Let's talk about Trump's impeachment because many of my friends in China have been asking me about Trump because the media makes it sound like now that Trump is impeached, the media makes it sound like his his job as the president of the United States is finished. He's done. But oh, yeah. but that is actually not the case. It's not that simple. I'm really glad you brought that up because I was on TikTok the other day and I noticed a lot of the videos that were talking about this issue, they made it sound like Trump was done. Like he has officially lost his job as president of the United States of America. And yeah, that's just not true at this moment. So I think what trips people up is the word impeach, impeachment, impeached. Because when people hear that, I think that officially means like, oh, Trump has lost his job. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I totally agree because uh, when I see the word impeach, it does make me feel like he's going to get fired. But but that is totally not the case. The, the, basically, here's how it works, right? The reason people um, say Trump is impeached is because the House of Representatives, they basically voted by simple majority uh, whether Trump should be impeached or not. And... What wound up happening was, you know, since the House of Representatives is currently controlled by Democrats, they have the majority, they all voted yes for impeachment. And it passed. And because it passed, Trump is officially impeached, which means he's in the process. Impeachment is a process. It's not actually losing your job. So, but the problem with that is just because it passes one house doesn't mean it's going to pass the Senate. In the Senate, it might fail, and it's very likely to fail because the Republicans have a majority over there, and all the Republicans are, you know, they're in the same party as Trump. And from what I read in the media, they're going to need 20 Republicans to vote for impeachment, and that is apparently very, very difficult to do and very, very unlikely to happen. So so they need... 20 Republicans to vote yes in order to remove Trump from office. Yeah, that's correct. But in the Senate. In the Senate. Okay. Now, everybody's saying that's very unlikely to happen. And even Democrats like Andrew Yang are saying this is ultimately going to help Trump more than hurt him. Because it's basically, he described impeachment right now it's it's almost like record it's like recording a basketball game and then watching it but you already know the result so they're pretty sure it's going to fail and what's going to happen is Trump is going to he's going to use this to his, his advantage he's going to say oh look how wrong they were they were just accusing me for nothing and you know this was all one big witch hunt i didn't do anything and the reality of it is this is not really you know, this is not really about that. So he's actually going to use this to, to his advantage. And I mean, I just want to make it clear. I'm, I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm simply just telling you what, you know, the analysts are saying. And, you know, it's, it's, it's become a real crazy thing. Yeah. I think it's, it's funny how the Democrats are already celebrating. Like, like, like they got, like they managed to get Trump fired, but but that is totally not true. The the fact that they are celebrating makes makes it sound like you know his job is done. But um but like you said, you made a really good point. I and I really think um this is this is all just gonna help Trump win again in 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 two thousand and twenty. Agreed. And I feel like the only people that are celebrating are just people that don't understand how the process works. True, very true. And it's, in the United States, it's very, very hard for a president to be impeached. Like, you have to do something really, really, really bad to be impeached, like Richard Nixon did. You know, like, he was rigging the election, you know, many, many years ago. So that's, he was, you know, he was, I believe he was supposed to be impeached, but he actually wound up quitting. I mean, not quitting, resigning before he was actually impeached, but he, he would have been impeached. Oh, yeah, it's it's just a it's a I don't know. I don't really expect people in China to know this because obviously this is, you know, this is not their country and 
even people in this country don't understand it. So I, I, I don't really fault, you know, anyone in China for not understanding. But I do hope that this was helpful in clearing up some of the confusion. And even though this isn't a detailed process of how impeachment works, this is the basic gist of it without getting into the complicated details such as the prosecution, who presides over, you know, the court. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear all those details. You just want to know if Trump lost his job or not. So, but for now, he he didn't lose his job. Will he lose his job? Not likely. Very unlikely at the moment. And does he deserve to lose his job? Well, that's just a matter of opinion. Um, you may say yes or you may say no. Well, I hope that was helpful and that clears everything up. Thanks, guys.